Hello friends and welcome to our Bible story time today. As we look at our calendar, we're going to move one more week. And today we're going to have a story about rain. We have not had very much rain these days. It's been very hot, but this story is going to be about a lot of rain, maybe even too much rain. So let's go have our story. Let's begin with our three breath prayer. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will light our Jesus candle today to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and that his light shines even in the darkness to help us see the way to go. Today, we're having another story from the beginning of the Bible in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis. And today, our story is about a man named Noah. So, let us begin our story. When God had created the world, he said it was very good. But remember last week how Adam and Eve had made a bad choice and had the consequence of being sent out of the garden? Well, after many, many, many years, all of the people of the world were making bad choices and doing bad things in their hearts was evil. And when God looked at his creation, it made him sad and he thought, I am going to send water over the earth to wash it clean and I will start again. And as God looked over the earth, he saw Noah and his wife, Nema. And Noah was a righteous man Noah walked with God and God came so close to Noah and Noah came so close to God that Noah knew exactly what God wanted him to do. God wanted Noah to build a very large boat to save him and his family in. Noah and his wife had three sons who were married, so there were three daughters-in-law. And so Noah and his family got to work and they built an ark. Noah and his family worked at building the ark. There were animals from all four corners of the earth that came to where Noah and his family were building the ark. And when it was time and the ark was ready, all of the animals came close by and went into the ark. And then it was time for Noah's family to go into the ark. And lastly, Noah himself at this time, there was no rain, but Noah kept listening to what God was saying for him to do. And Noah went into the ark and God himself closed the door. When the ark was finished and all of the animals were safely gathered inside, and Noah and his family were safely gathered inside. The rain 
started coming down. At first it was a gentle rain, but then there was more and more rain that came down and started to make puddles of water. Rain from the sky and rain from the earth came and there was more and more water everywhere all around the ark. There was so much water that the rain and the water covered everything. Soon the ark was floating on the top of the water. For 40 days and 40 nights, it rained. It rained and it rained. When the animals looked out, they could see nothing but rain and water. And after 40 days, God remembered Noah and the animals, and he stopped the rain, and he sent a strong wind that blew across the water to start drying it up. And the wind blew and the wind blew. And Noah sent out a dove to see if there was any place for the dove to land. And the dove circled over the waters and came back to Noah's hand. There was no place for the dove to go. And so they waited. One week later, Noah came, held out the dove, and sent it forth again. And the dove circled around and flew over the waters, and then it came back to Noah. The dove returned to Noah with an olive branch in its beak, and so Noah knew the plants were starting to grow again. And so, Noah waited one more week, and then he took the dove and sent it out again. And the dove flew over the surface of the waters and flew and flew until it did not come back. It had found a place where it could build a nest. And Noah knew that soon it would be time to leave the ark. The water kept drying up until the ark finally was back on solid ground. And then one day when Noah went out, there was no more water. And it was time for Noah and his family and all the animals to leave. Time for them to leave the ark. And all the animals came back out. They were so happy to be back on dry land. It was a day of rejoicing. Noah and all of his family and all of the animals were safe. God had been watching over them the whole time. Everyone was so thankful. They wanted to build an altar to God. They gathered some stones together as a special place that they could gather together to say thank you to God for watching over them. And God made a promise to Noah that he would bless him and his family, and he would send the animals forth to fill the earth. And then God did something very special. He put a rainbow in the sky, and he said, every time I see this rainbow, I will remember my promise to you, Noah, and to all people for all time, and this will be a sign that I never again will flood the earth with water. This rainbow 
will remind us of the promise that God will watch over you and bless you. And so the animals went their different ways and filled the earth. And Noah and his family had many, many children and filled the earth. And they worshiped God and gave him thanks for watching over them and blessing them in so many ways. And that's the story of Noah. Noah walked with God and talked with God and listened to God and did what God asked him to do. And God watched over Noah and his family. We still have the rainbow that shows up after rain when the sun is shining again. And it is a reminder to us that God always keeps his promises. That God made a promise to Noah that he would never send a flood that would cover the whole earth again. Maybe this week you can find rainbows someplace, or maybe you can draw a beautiful picture of a rainbow to remind you about God's promises, that he loves his people and he takes good care of them. So, Let's finish our time by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Today, as we change the light, let's remember that the Holy Spirit goes with us, that God is always watching over us, even during the storms of life, when it might seem like we're being tossed and turned on the waves, God is watching over us. God loves us and his promises never change. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. Bye bye. And the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hey, Starzy, are you joining us for the Bible story today? We need to finish our story. We need to change the light. Okay. <laughs>